Hi, welcome to Java Tutorials. So today's lesson you will uh, learn how to construct a file path or how to create a file path in Java. Okay. So what is this construction file path or creating the file path in Java? So why we need to use this one? Okay. So when coming to construct a file path in Java, what is the use means? Suppose you want to create a different files like csv xls files text files which could be a log files so everything will be in one under one user directory so suppose i have created one project like java practices so if i am creating the files okay if i am creating the files under my directory then it is easy to identify that okay these are the files belongs to this particular project so if I am creating that uh, files in another directory which is not belongs to your uh, Java projects then you will get a confused that so where I have actually created the files. So where my log files are saving regarding the project log files. Okay. So that's why we have to use particular user directory for each project in order to maintain unique data files. So whether it could be a test data, unit testing files, log files or you are using suppose a uh, database properties files or application properties files so these are the files we have to create under one directory for each project should be in unique so in order to maintain that uh, construction that uh, particular data we need to use this constructing a file path so that that file path will be saving all your required data files okay so when coming to how you can create this file path in Java. So I have created a one class and I am using main method. I want to create this main using main method and creating the file. So in previous lesson you have learned how to create the file with uh, specified path and how to verify those files in particular path. Same like that you are using this user directory this is the user directory i want to create my files okay so let me explain i am using file separators and system.get property so what it will file separator means it will separate the files separate the file path suppose in windows you will say windows operating system your path will be like this okay in unix system or any other system your path will be like this so it is giving this file separator separating as per the operating system so if it is windows if it is os it is separating this file separator this is a using we are for this separating your path okay so i'm using windows 7 so your path will be so like this system.get property what it will do it will do the whatever the directory path you are mentioning here this user directory it will get the path Okay, I'm saving under this one into path. Okay, let me write the code. Here I'm using file name. This is the file, simple file name, CSV file name. So I want to create under my directory. So my directory is the system.get property. This will what will do? So get the system property indicated by the specified key. So I'm using user.directory as a specified key, string key. So what it will do? It will get the default user directory where my project is created. Okay and a path i am giving as a null so i am saving this path into file name plus directory and of file that separator i am using directory plus file that separator plus file name okay in windows it will give you single slash this one okay this is backslash forward slash okay and uh, i am just printing the file path and uh, i want to create the file under this directory right let me so there is no file so i'm using files as a java ivo files new file path i'm using as a this path which will be having directory plus file separator plus file name okay if files dot create new file i'm creating the new file right if it is creating new files so what it will do if it is boolean if it is true what it will do it will create the file under this directory and new file is created under user path if it is already exist it will what it will do it will provide the message file is already exist 
So let me run this file, run this code so that you can understand clearly. Run as Java application. So what it is saying, the file path is Java tutorial, Java practices, right? These are the my directory. Just go to properties. It is giving us Java tutorial, Java practices. This is a user directory path. So path is slash Java practices. Okay. And uh, coming to what it is saying, the sample files are TSV. It is created on the user path. Okay. This is the directory where it is created. Just refresh this one. See, it is has created, right? This is created under user directory. User directory is Java. This practices. Okay. If I am running this directory, it will show you as a file is already created. It means already exists. So under this directory. So now what it will do? So while you are creating your files, you need to maintain this system dot create property user directory. Every file should be created under this user directory so that each project project having unique files so that you can easily identify what is the files you are using for each project and what are the log files you are using. So if you have seen uh, your uh, real time examples, your log file will be created under one folder. So which could be under your server, right? Your servers are creating your log files. So which is having different names and uh, which is belongs to one project. Each project having different log files. If you have seen classes, you can go to directory after domain. You can see under log folder. <coughs> there you will fill, you will find server dot log file. So it is maintaining for each and every project. It is a, which is a very unique file. You can see only that particular domain project log file under server dot log text file. So same like that you need to use this directories, user directories. You have to create this file separator under your directory only. Then you can every project will have a unique files which is having you so that you can understand clearly and user uh, this having separate log file. So it is easy to identify in production environment. Okay. Thank you, thank you for watching my videos and please subscribe to my channel so that you will get a more real time example about Java Ivo tutorials. So these are belongs to Java Ivo tutorials, right? Ivo tutorials, this so you will get a more example. So please uh, provide your comments on this video and provide your likes and provide please share my videos so that uh, most of the users can get more beginner beginners and experience okay thank you thank you for watching my video so have a nice day